Hey guys, what's up? I'll be showing you guys a new type of attack against the uh, Wi-Fi network using a tool that's been released not long ago called Reaver. Reaver implements a brute force attack against the access point's WPS registrar's pin and is able to recover the WPA WPA2 passphrase. WPS stands for Wi-Fi Protected Setup and it's implemented in all major access points such as Linksys, D-Link, Belkin, and a lot more. Keep in mind, in order for this attack to work, the access point must have WPS enabled. By default, all access points have this enabled. And also, what's great about Reaver is that you don't need to capture a four-way handshake and spend days or weeks using a dictionary attack just to try to get the passphrase. So let's get started. Alright, so the first step is to download Reaver. I'll be using uh, Backtrack. Just uh, open up a terminal and using wget we'll be downloading Reaver. Okay, now it's time to extract Reaver. All right, now that we're done extracting it, we're gonna CD into the uh, Reaver directory and then into the uh, SRC. All right, now it's time to configure and install Reaver. Type in dot forward slash configure. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to fix the uh, transparency on my terminal here, I'm trying to get a better view. Obviously, this step is not required. Now type in make. and make install Reaver has created a uh, symbolic link which basically means you could access Reaver in any directory you don't need to be inside the uh, Reaver directory to use it So once it's done installing, just uh, disconnect your uh, internet and set your Wi-Fi card into uh, monitor mode. I'll be using Airmon NG.
Alright, so monitor mode is enabled on Mon Zero. Next step is to get the BSS ID. I'll be using aerodump ng. Alright, now to start the attack, just type in Reaver and then use the I switch, which is for the interface, and the B switch, which is for the BSS ID. Um, you could also add the uh, VV switch, puts it in verbose mode, and you're able to see uh, details on what's going on. Alright, so now it's time to wait. This process could take anywhere between 4 to 10 hours depending on the access point you're attacking. Some access points uh, could take more requests and some take, you know, some have a timeout every 10 seconds and some actually uh, have the security feature where they completely stop for about 5 minutes. Just uh, read the uh, readme file to Reaver and uh, you'll get more uh, details on, on that. Just wanted to point one thing out. Reaver could cause a denial of service to some routers. Um, my router had crashed at 47.49%. Um, if you notice on the screen here, uh, you see it repeating three times. Um, what I did, all I did was go up to the router, switch it off for about 15 seconds, and switched it back on. And Reaver had continued its uh, process. It did not reset, which is great. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. After waiting patiently, uh, Reaver finally got my uh, WPS pin and my WPA PSK passphrase. Uh, pretty impressive. I was, uh, you know, shocked for a couple of hours. Uh, so, in order to stop this attack, you just basically disable your WPS, and um, you should be good. Uh, I'd like to thank the researcher who discovered this vul vulnerability and um, check out my site for more tutorials I'll be posting it and uh, check out securitytube.net if you've not seen it and haven't been on there. Thanks for watching guys and uh, good luck.